What is up, y'all? This is Edgewood Middle School. To be honest, I would have uh, probably just rather have gone to the high school, but the high school that serves this area is not in this area, so that doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem to be within the rules that I created for these videos. Edgewood Middle School is in Moundsview School District. And I know a lot of folks, when they're moving here, when they're researching moving to the Twin Cities, Moundsview School District comes up as a good school. It is ranked number 10th in, I think, all of Minnesota, as far as school districts. And so a lot of people are drawn to it. This spot today, virtual tour that we're doing today, is the most affordable neighborhood within the Moundsview School District, if not the most affordable neighborhood in a top 10 school district, bar none. Is that the right thing, bar none? I think so. Either way, let's get after it. Moundsview Virtual Tour, go. How's it going, y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch, and I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called To The Twin Cities. You can check out our website, tothetwincities.com. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, planet, whatever it is, first time home buyers, relocations, that's what we do. And that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those things appeal to you, do us both a favor, subscribe to this channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up and say something cool in the comments. You can literally type something cool, period, send it. I'd appreciate that. And always, you probably heard me say this a thousand times, unless you're new to the channel, then what's up? But if you're thinking about moving here or buying a house here for the first time, just get a hold of us and we will take the absolute best care of you. You can go to our website, tothetwincities.com, fill a little information out, send it out, super easy, or shoot us an email at info at tothetwincities.com. They both lead to the same spot, but however you want. Just trying to provide the least amount of friction as possible, and we look forward to hearing from you, and we look forward to helping you find a house here in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. Right over here, we got Moundsview Boulevard. It used to be called uh, Highway 10, Highway 10? County Road 10? Highway 10. Uh, and this is basically like the commercial hub of this whole sort of Moundsview area. Today's video, we're talking Moundsview, Minnesota. This is per special request. and But this is really like, this is where pretty much all of the commercial conveniences are within Moundsview proper. Right where I started is Moundsview uh, Square. You got an Aldi, Dollar General, liquor store, tobacco store, Anytime Fitness. Over here, you've got Caribou Coffee, Little Caesars, H&R Block. But pretty much all up and down this is some commercial. We'll get into it. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Yeah, let's head over that way and uh, check out some more. y'all right now i'm in silver view park here in mounds view it's like a nice little municipal park pretty close to highway 10 where i was earlier there's baseball diamond basketball full court by the way uh it's gotta be uh <laughs> i talk like i'm good at basketball playground over there and just like walking past there's a little lake over here that we are gonna go walk by uh super nice little yeah municipal park there's houses right across the lake and it's just nice. This is a very like nice, peaceful part of the Moundsview area. Moundsview is a largely residential city. There's basically the one sort of corridor of commercial, which is right along Highway 10, Moundsview Boulevard. Uh, and other than that, it's very much 
house centric, right? Neighborhood, neighborhoody. And I would say for the most part, the neighborhoods are a little bit older. They're not gonna be, you know, as old as like Minneapolis where you're getting houses from the early 1900s but you are mostly gonna find homes that were built maybe in the 50s, 60s, kind of that range. Um, but there are certain little nooks that are newer. They actually, the ones I can see right now <laughs> are newer, um, but there's gonna be a lot of neighborhoods where you're getting sort of that post-war era, you know, kind of like shoebox type house. Ramblers and ranches are gonna pretty much dominate the area, but there are gonna be a few spots where you're getting more of like the maybe 60s and 70s built houses, and maybe some even like much newer, but for the most part, you're gonna find that, you know, post-war, and then in the more expensive neighborhoods, it's gonna be 60s, 70s, maybe 80s, and then sprinkled throughout is gonna be newer homes. There are so many ducks right here. <laughs> I guess it's the only uh, open water on this lake, so that mostly explains it, but seriously, check this out. Look how many ducks. <laughs> Moundsview has a pretty uh, simple border. To the north, you have uh, County Road J West. To the east, more or less, is 35W. To the south is County Road H. And then to the west, more or less, Moundsview Boulevard. The population is right around 13,000 here. It's not huge. It's pretty small and uh, relatively like flat, right? You got those houses are generally pretty just you know, story and a half, except these, these are the exception. By the way, there's a Frisbee golf course here. It's kind of cool. It's like all like super tucked in the woods. Looks like it might be, I don't know, a little bit of a challenging course. I don't know anything about that. That would be Nick. I would need Nick to answer questions about <laughs> Frisbee golf. Moundsview is like pretty conveniently located to the two downtowns. Downtown St. Paul is maybe 15 minutes. Pretty slick access to downtown St. Paul, whereas downtown Minneapolis is maybe more of like a 20, eh, 25 minute, depending on where you're coming from, kind of drive. The access, it's similar geography, but the access is just closer to downtown St. Paul. You're also maybe 25 minutes to the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, which is not bad. Pretty common for these like northern suburbs. Moundsview is ranked the 16th most diverse suburb in Minnesota and also the second most uh, affordable or second lowest cost of living in the Twin Cities metro suburbs. I, know, I phrased that terribly, but you get the point. The median sale price here is right around 315, uh, maybe 317 or something like that, which is considerably lower than the metro average of like 350. So not bad. Again, you're not getting like insane house typically, but that median, it's very accessible uh, price for the Twin Cities Metro. And then when I think you combine that with the fact that the schools here are excellent, that median home price to high quality schools is maybe the best sort of ratio of price to home quality in the entire Twin City Metro. So that alone, I would say, gives Moundsview like a value that a lot of people are really big fans of. Moundsview doesn't have a ton of hype behind it just as like a city, probably because there's not that much going on. It's houses, one commercial strip, but then the school district here is quite, quite good. You may have seen uh, us talk about it on other videos and the schools get an A. Moundsview School District get an A, specifically the schools that serve <laughs> Moundsview, which is maybe obvious, but it's just not always the case. They get an A and it's ah, it's pretty much A's across the board for schools that serve Moundsview. One kind of weird thing is that Moundsview Senior High School doesn't serve Moundsview. I, maybe a little bit of it, but mostly it's Irondale High School, but that gets an A. And then there are, I think the middle school gets like a B plus, but for the most part, you're looking at really good schools in this Moundsview area. And again, for median home price of 315, that's hard to beat. That is like pretty much impossible to beat. And it might be actually the best value to school quality in the Metro 
bar none. I'm trying to think of something else and I cannot think of anything better. You're gonna find about two thirds of the people who live here own their home, one third rent, which is a decent ratio, um, but not, uh, not super crazy on the renter aspect and also not just like, you know, only homeowners here as well. I'm literally on the Frisbee golf course right now. <laughs> But it's nice. It's this nice wooded area. I'm into it. All in all, Mounds just has a lot going for it. A lot of really nice aspects. Again, that ratio, price to school quality, it's pretty much impossible to beat. But no more talking about it. Let's just go for a drive, shall we? Right now I'm in a neighborhood that is, I would say, more on the sort of upper echelon of the Mounds View area, which to be frank, is still what is not in the upper echelon of the Twin Cities. For a lot of areas, it would still be relatively modest. You know, houses built in the 80s, 90s, uh, maybe 2000. That's probably about as new as they come here. They are a little bit bigger than some of the other spots, which I will go to next. Uh, after this, I'll go to sort of the cheaper areas, which are more of the uh, sh shoebox, pillbox, story and a half, ramblers, that kind of thing. Um, and a little bit less distinct, a little bit less, I don't know, large, I guess, a little, little less new than what you're seeing here. But we're talking pros and cons of living in Mounds View. And the pros, pretty easy. <laughs> I've already talked about them. Great schools, like truly very, very good schools. Mounds View is ranked 10th best school district in the Twin Cities. That is hard to argue with, especially when paired with affordable housing prices. Even this area, the upper echelon of Mounds View, we're talking the high end of anything on the market is mid fours. So, you know, you're, you're gonna find stuff more in the low fours, even the high threes in this neighborhood. And then there's a bunch of housing stock that is considerably lower than that, closer to the 300, you know, 300K range, which kind of, allows for that median of 315,000, which again, is basically unbeatable. And then lastly, this is the last pro really, is access to the downtown areas. Super slick access to downtown, and I guess easy access to the highways. In general, you're right by 35W, which you know you could take north to Duluth if you wanted. You could hop on there, go to the Southern Metro as well. But yeah, I think I said it earlier, you're maybe 15 minutes to downtown St. Paul, 20, 25 minutes to downtown Minneapolis. Just super depends on where you're coming from and all that. Okay, and then cons. Uh, there are definitely some cons to the Mounds View area. That's probably pretty obvious given the price and the good schools, right? But it is interesting that the good schools are here in a cheap area. That is not very common. That is a hard combination to come across. But where are you sacrificing, right? That's kind of the big question. Number one, there's basically just an utter lack of uh, the three C's. I'm just making this up right now, which is culture, character, and cool spots. That's not to say there's not diversity, which there is. There's decent diversity here, but like cultural spots, there's like nowhere to go for an event or anything like that. You're leaving Mounds View for almost all of that. And the character is pretty limited as well in the housing market and even the commercial areas. It's just like, there's not a whole lot charming about the Mounds View area. So, hey, maybe that's the fourth C, charm, right? That was my great aunt's name, by the way. Shout out Charm. Another C <laughs> uh, is that there's not a ton of conveniences. Basically, the suburban conveniences here, pretty limited. It's all gonna be along County Road 10, which I might've called Highway 10 earlier. I can't remember, but they run pretty much parallel. And now it's just called Mounds View Boulevard anyway. So either way, I spoke out of turn. 
I uh, am wrong about that. So Mountain View Boulevard is where pretty much all of those conveniences are. And they're just okay. I mean, there's just a decent amount of stuff, but yeah, it's not, it's not particularly overflowing. Luckily, Mounds View is not that big. You're gonna leave Mounds View to go do a lot of this stuff and you're not gonna have to drive far to do so. Next con for me is that the commercial spaces uh, within Mounds View, they're also like a little bit like uh, dated. They leave a little bit to be desired. They're just like not that nice. So there's not that many of them. And the ones that are here, eh, they're just okay. You know, there's not, eh, it just doesn't really do anything for me. And then I think that sort of extends to certain neighborhoods where there's just kind of a lower pride of ownership in certain chunks of Mounds View. It's like people don't really, you know, keep their houses super, super nicely in certain parts. Don't get me wrong certain chunks of Mounds View are great and people care about their lawns and their houses and, and all that but you can definitely find some areas where that's like missing a little bit almost what I call echoes of a rural past although I don't know when this was ever rural but it feels like that and then next up eh, there's not the most diverse housing stock here it's pretty much like a neighborhood like this or like that much more modest post-war era that's pretty much what you got here. And then last is park spaces suffer a little bit here. There's like the one I was at earlier, there's the community center area or like city hall park. And that's kind of it. So if park spaces are very, very important to you, then Mounds View may not be the move, but uh, yeah, let's go for a ride. neighborhood that I think does a pretty good job of summing up the more like modest but maybe it's still not the most modest part of Mounds View. Um, you're gonna get more of these just like single story ramblers stuff like this you're gonna see a lot of detached garages big yards but also notice I'm just in the street no sidewalks um, that's pretty common here but here's like maybe a less modest house for the same area, um, but this is kind of what you're gonna see through a lot of Mounds View. And so to just in like quick summary of Mounds View, ultimately the schools are amazing. The home prices are, you know, cheap relatively, but I would say the one big sacrifice is just sort of like niceness, I guess. Like the houses, the yards, the commercial spaces, they're not particularly nice in Mounds View. They're decent and there are some very nice houses, but compared to some other areas, compared to obviously more expensive areas, even different areas served by Mounds View schools, there's just a little bit more of like a dinge at times. Um, and that's just being as frank as possible. You will see some houses, I think more and more people are building, weird, I literally right here. You'll see, you'll see some like newer built homes like that one. And I think people are probably scraping old homes that are like existing. Like this one over here is like very small, right? And not very consistent with most people's lifestyles today. So they might scrape something small like that, put something up like this and, you know, have a big house, access to Mounds View schools and probably for cheaper than if you were to buy in Shoreview or Arden Hills or something like that. <laughs> that makes sense? Okay, and if you watch these videos, you know that I have a section called For Fans Of, which is to say, if you like what you see here, then maybe check out these other areas because they have similar vibe 
or just similar characteristics to here. So first of all, I'm gonna say the two that come to mind are Arden Hills and Shoreview. And I would say the vibe is different there uh, considerably. A little more high end, a little more like lake-y, a little more forested. Like this is actually a pretty nice street in that it's like, you know, mature trees and all that. But I would say Shoreview and Arden Hills are more so in that way. Uh, just a little, I don't know, a little more impressive in a lot of aspects. So if you want the Mountain View schools, but you know, maybe you don't like sort of the vibe here. I mean, here's another great house, but then here, tiny house, right? Not an actual tiny house, but a small house. Also real quick, notice, a plane you won't be getting any drone footage in this video <laughs> or you may have noticed there is no uh, aerial footage at all that is why it's pretty close to the Blaine airport and actually right in sort of the flight path but they're little planes it's not like a delta 747 or whatever is, is like screaming over your head it's uh much smaller stuff than that okay this is I didn't choose this, but this is a good example without like picking on any particular house. These houses, there's basically a row of new built houses back there. That house, older, like 1950s, not particularly renovated, 1960s. And then you'll get houses like this where there's a, what I would call echoes of a rural past, right? I've already said it, where there's just more stuff in the yards. Yeah, it's just like a little more, something you might see in the country. And yeah, that for whatever reason, in Moundsview, you get a little more of that than you do in a lot of other places that are nearby. Anyways, back to Forfanza. Okay, let's say schools are not a thing for you, but maybe this vibe, this price range is appealing. Okay, then I would check out Columbia Heights and Fridley. They're actually both even a little more convenient to the cities, Columbia Heights especially. It's like adjacent to Northeast Minneapolis. So if you're into that lifestyle, you like sort of the cheapness, convenience, that kind of stuff, then Columbia Heights for sure. Fridley, very similar very close in proximity as well. And then last thing to come to mind is the, there are two. It's Invergrove Heights and Cottage Grove. They're in sort of the uh, southeastern metro, I guess. Yeah, southeastern, just south of St. Paul down there. And there's a lot of similar properties in not just like houses. The housing stock is fairly similar, pretty good schools, and maybe not even top 10 there. But yeah, it's gonna be similar. There's maybe like an oldness to a lot of the commercial spaces there and a lot of houses sort of built of a similar area. But in a similar way to here, there are some sections with newer houses, but they seem to be sprinkled throughout a little bit more. Eh, maybe not Cottage Grove, but in the way that this place, it's like four random houses <laughs> that were all new built, you know, within the last 10 years next to, you know, houses that have been around for decades so you're gonna find that there as well but obviously this is a bus line so that's fun uh <laughs> but so no matter what you're doing no matter where you're thinking about or what you think about this spot in particular uh if it's for you if it's not just get a hold of us and we would love to sort of like talk you through and get you to a place where you can in fact you know, end up in exactly the right spot when you move to the Twin Cities. So go to our website, to the twincities.com, fill out a contact form there, super easy, or shoot us an email at info at to the twin cities com and they both lead to me they both lead to the same spot we look forward to helping you and I almost forgot as always as you exit the video subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about Mounds View in the comments. I'd appreciate that very, very much. We did it, y'all. Mounds View, Minnesota, virtual tour. Have a good day, y'all. See you in the next one.